Before we get this video started, I noticed most of you are not subscribed to this channel. So be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to be up to date with my latest videos. Yo ho ho ho, what is up my little cupcakes? The first person who correctly identifies where that is from will get a heart and a pin from me in the comments section. Anyways, I thought I would make a video going over the top 5 worst audio reviewers. These are people who are the absolute worst of the worst as far as reviewers go. I haven't included any reviewers I don't really know that well. There are definitely more reviewers as bad as these people though. And keep in mind that this list is not in any particular order. All of these reviewers are really bad. Starting off, we have Golden Sound. Golden Sound is an absolute disgrace of an audiophile. He cares more about DAX and amps than actual headphones, and differences that don't exist at that. You can't get through a single review of his without him going, Oh, this DAC and amp is not good for dynamic drivers, but it is amazing for planars. Or, this DAC and amp is amazing for dynamic drivers, but it is bad for planars. It's just ridiculous where he comes up with these claims. There is no basis for them whatsoever. The headphones he promotes are absolute trash. His scientific videos are very inaccurate. He's just a really terrible reviewer that you should not take seriously. Next up, we have The Honest Audiophile. I'm sure many of you are familiar with him. He's the guy who tried to cancel me or something and completely failed and got humiliated. Another one of those DAC amp lovers who really does not know anything about headphones or DACs and amps claims the Harman target is terrible and... I don't even know what this guy is thinking. It's just really hard to describe how terrible of a reviewer The Honest Audiophile is. Go watch that video I made on him if you haven't. Next up, we have Passion for Sound. Another completely useless reviewer, he made a video blind testing USB cables failing, then continued to go on talking about sound differences between USB cables. If you're gonna talk about cable differences, at least do it in an alpha manner like I did. It's really not that hard, I don't know why these guys don't have any brain capacity. What went wrong for you to talk about DAX and amps and cables that don't make any difference endlessly? It's a complete waste of time. Next up, we have Jay's Iyagi, is basically in love with vintage amplifiers and a bunch of speakers that measure terribly. For some reason, he's not that popular in the Discord audiophile communities. I think that's because he's mostly into speakers, but all of his reviews are terrible. There's no scientific basis. None of the things he promotes are actually good. Last but not least, we have Joshua Valor. Oh my god, what a terrible reviewer. For example, in his MacBook Pro vs. 6XX video, which you can easily refer to, he talks about how the base output on the MacBook is greater than that of the Moon River 2, which is something I've talked about as placebo, where the bigger amplifier gives the impression of having more bass. He is stuck on getting placeboed by the fundamentals. Like, how can you make reviews for this long and still be so clueless? There was a point when I had this level of knowledge, but I completely overcame that because I'm not a moron. It really is just unbelievable. You talk about something, and when you realize it's wrong, you start talking about what's right. I highly doubt any of these people will learn from their mistakes, but I sincerely hope they do. Anyways, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, join the Discord down below. I'd like to give a shout out to Fofo, Vsauce4, Linux Terminal, Wadeacre, and Snevery. Thank you guys for supporting the channel.